right, so here we go. No late breaking development. So my my daughter's mom, you know, uh, she has a boyfriend and stuff. I guess age appropriate. She's my age. I just turned fifty three, as everybody know. But we were talking about somebody that that you know that I currently date, and the fact that she is, uh, you know, at this point she's like twenty something years, you know, my junior. So you know, she's younger than me. And my, you know, my daughter's mom is just like, yo, you know, like, they really, like, you're getting ready to evolve and grow up and, I guess, get into a more serious, age-appropriate uh, relationship. So it's caused me to thinking. And, you know, I had deleted all my, uh, so they, like, dating site uh, profiles and stuff like that and was just trying to, uh, I guess, like, go on, like, whoever I meet and stuff like that. But because I'm in such, you know, I'm in... In areas or, you know, I'm in, I'm in areas where, the, you know, women are younger, you know, mostly, you know, because it's like, it's hip hop that, you know, when I go out, unless I'm at Percy's house or like one of my close friends, you know, and all of them are coupled up. So it ain't like there's uh, like extra women around or whatever, but when I go out and when there's extra women, nine times out of 10, I'm in a, I'm in a demographic where, where they're younger. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, for me, I guess fortunately being a guy, you know, I'm able to, you know, dabble in, 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 in that realm right there, you know, being with younger, like, women. But, you know, since you made that comment, I've been, you know, thinking about it and, and trying to, you know, because I kind of think she's right. Well, I kind of think I'd have more in common with somebody that was closer to my age, you know, and stuff like that. They really didn't want to go out and really, you know, you know all about, the, the life still, you know, because I've done that already. I've been all over the place, you know, both, uh, you know, with, with, with dealing with rap, it's just taking me overseas, and, you know, I've been all around the country and stuff like that. I haven't traveled, you know, like, like the people who, like, really like to travel, I haven't, like, done that or leisure, you know, it's always been about business and stuff like that. But, you know, so now, anyway, you know, without rambling, I, you know, to the point where I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, man, maybe she's right. So now I try to get back on these dating sites and stuff like that, and they've been coming out the woodwork. I got a good picture, I guess. I don't know. Well, cause my hair is lower, so it's like it's a little bit dated of a picture. You know, not by much. It's like by a year, maybe like maybe two years or whatever. My hair was uh, a lot lower or whatever. But yeah, you know, generally I look the same, so it's not like I was catfishing or nothing. But they've been coming out the woodwork, man. And uh. It's, uh, it's flattering, you know what I mean, to say the least. It's very, very flattering, you know, because, uh, you know, if you work all the time, I mean, you know, like I said, where I hang out, you know, with my leisure, it's not like there's a ton of like, opportunities around. So, like, then to get back on these dating sites and get this type of, uh, you know, get this type of, uh, I guess, vibe, for lack of a better term, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. You know, but I just I had to say something about that because, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely, you know, it, it's it's just funny to me, you know, whatever, because I don't see myself as, you know, oh, you know, oh, you look good or nothing. I'm not one of those guys. You know, I'm probably more insecure than I am uh, stuck up or conceited by any means, you know what I mean? I, I got a mirror that's right outside of my bathroom that, you know, there's been times in my life that I didn't even look at myself in there leaving the bathroom, you know what I mean, with just a towel because I was just that, uh, you know, unhappy with, with the way I look or whatever. Meanwhile, you know, the, the thing that I received from, from the public or from, from people would be like, oh, man, you look great. Oh, man, you know, you look great. Oh, shit, you know, you're, you're a handsome man and blah, blah, blah. But I just, you know, I don't, I don't see it that way. So, so, you know, I need things to fire. I need like, everything to be in order for me to even closely, not even that I ever agree with, with those type of statements, but before I can even see a little bit of where they're, where they're coming from, you know, I have to work at it. You know, I, mean, I got to be in the gym and stuff like that. I had surgeries that, that prevented me from, I just had sur shoulder surgery last June. So I'm just now getting back in the gym. So you can imagine how I felt about my physical, you know, like presence, uh, you know, beforehand. And not that I'm in so in love with it now, but at least I could touch the weight. And I know, you know, by summer, I'll at least be on the road back. You know, not to say that I'm going to be back, but I'll be, I'll be, you know, I'll be getting there. I'm getting there right now. I'm not like terribly disappointed with how I look, but, uh, you know, there's always room for improvement, you know.
but uh, yeah, it's just weird, man. I just wanted to come on and say that it's just weird to, uh, you know, to be getting like this type of, uh, I guess, to be attracted to this amount of, of women, you know, that are all like from all different walks of life, black, white, Spanish, you know, uh, successful or not successful and stuff like that. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. You still got it, old boy. You know, I get it from my dad. Well, actually, I think I get this part from my mom. My mom and my father are the same age. She looks great. Dad, you know, my father, you know, he's past his, uh, he's past his better days. You know what I mean? So, you know, for whatever reason, or whatever, my mom still looks amazing, though. You know, and I think I, you know, luckily that part, that aspect of 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 of, uh, of me, I get from her. A lot of my attitude and my personality, I get from my dad. But uh, looks wise, uh, I think Deborah, you know, looked out. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm fifty. I'm you know, shoot. I'm fifty three now. Five three. Remember when we, when we was little and you seen somebody that was that was fifty three years old? Do you remember what you uh what you thought about them and what you said? You know what I hate? I hate when, it, when it, the young children get to like your unk or whatever. You know what I mean? This happened to me a couple of years ago on set somewhere and one of the one of the actresses we was using. Uh, I, I forget. I said something slick out the mouth and she was just like, "Yo, you know, with your old self and blah blah blah," or maybe even called me unk. And that was like the first time I ever heard that that. that uh, you know that reference, so it, that took me back. I was just like, like "Unk," you know, because like even because I'm around all these young people, I kind of forget sometimes that I'm much older, and 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 not even that I forget, but I, you know, I get thrown off when they acknowledge the fact that I'm older. You know what I mean? Even with some dudes, you know, like because I'm in the rap business, so like some of these artists that I come across, they'll be like, "Yo, because you OG or whatever." And I forget, man. You know what I mean? When because like some of them have accolades that are are impressive, and I kind of, you know, at one point think that maybe we're peers, so to speak, or 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 I guess equals, for lack of a better term. And you know, little do I know, you know, their perception of me is different. Malcolm always says that, you know, you don't realize how people perceive you, you know, but he means it in, 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 in nothing but a good way. And, um, and I really don't sometimes, I really don't, like he, he couldn't be more right. You know, sometimes I'm like oblivious to it, you know, and I'll, you know, I'll be so much at awe at, at their talent or, or something like that. And he'd be like, well, you're like, what are you kidding me? This person thinks you blah, 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 of you and blah, blah, blah. Or, or, or they, it'll, it'll actually come out their mouth, you know, of how they perceive me. And I'll be like thrown off. We went to 631 Studio last year. I'm talking in their waiting area, you know, with, with, with a couple people, just, you know, just talking regular, you know, whatever. And the owner comes out. He's like, yo, as soon as I heard your voice, I knew there was no one else out there. It was like, like, bro, it was like so complimentary. It was like insane to me. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I have, I've been so far removed. I don't, I don't, uh, you know, I'm not in that world. So, so, you know, the professional world, nobody gives a fuck. You know, what are you, what are you doing for me lately? You know, oh, the month's over, brand new month. What are you doing for me? And if you ain't doing nothing, then you count for cock. I don't care where you went, who you work for, who you know, none of that matters. And then to be immersed in, in the rap business or the rap, uh, you know, world, and then having these people acknowledge me, you know, for things that I've done, and, and, you know, and by no stretch, you know, have I done anything, in, in my opinion, that I've done anything that was so, uh, you know, amazing, let's just say, but, but, you know, I do understand what these guys go through, and, and you know, but you know, like, to me, it's like, damn, man, you guys got all these, like, all these, uh, like things that you can use to get yourself on because when I was rapping back in you know the early 2000s and in, in, in the late 90s we didn't have the internet like that I had dial up bro when I was sending thousands of emails you know uh, hundreds of emails a day thousands you know throughout the month you know and we would do, I was doing it on dial up you know AOL and all of that right there and got lucky and found somebody that was you know that was willing to bring me and a few of my friends overseas and you know and, and expose me to 
to like you know to the, the touring world and stuff like that and, and you know and even before we're working with kid solo that dude i was a king you know and this was in the 90s you know what i'm saying it, it, even when you go like let's go disco that i got that i did which is a house you know song that, that and i don't even you know entertain that, that genre they went to number two you know in europe you know, I don't get a dime from it, but I'm saying it went to number two, and my name is plastered all over that. You look it up on on Spotify and and Apple Music, you're gonna see my name, my whole name, and then you're gonna hear my whole voice. You know, which is weird. And I don't, you know, when I go to these places, I, it's not even like I'm bringing it up. I don't, you know, because you know, I guess you know, I work with artists, and my 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 title right now is artist development, so I don't really ever try to do anything to shadow the artists that I work with, you know what I mean, even though sometimes I know, you know, who, when I do get a little bit of unexpected, uh, uh, unexpected light, I, I can tell when it kind of, like, when it rubs them the wrong way, or when it's, you know, when, it, when the whole thing is not about them, it's different for them, you know what I mean, but, I, you know, this is something that I'm used to, you know, because of who I am, I guess, and because of, you know, how I perceive things and, and how I've been treated, I know that, you know, it can be intimidating, it could be, it could be, you know, like, like it, it can just be shunned on, you know what I mean, when all of a sudden somebody that rides for you all the time is now the person that's, that's getting acknowledgement, you know what I mean, I, I saw this both with, uh, like, when I worked for Tana, you know, with Free Heat being his assistant, you know, sometimes we would show up, this happened a couple of times, we would show up somewhere, they, they didn't meet him yet, and then when we both get out of the car, they assumed that I was the person that was in charge, and I wasn't. So, you know, me understanding that, I, I, I elected to, you know, to take on the responsibility of setting up his equipment, which was, you know, knowledge for me, you know, gives me insight on what to call, you know, on, on how to work this stuff, so it's good for me that way. Plus, it allows him to, you know, to, uh, uh, you know, to uh, immerse himself in, in, in the boss type role. You know, if you're the director, you know, you, you don't want nobody to really have that type of confusion. Or if you're somebody like me who can very easily not be there tomorrow, you don't really want that to happen. So you got to kind of really, you know, be ahead of the curve and, 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 and notice that. And, you know, like, you know, as sure as I bring that up, it's happened a number of times, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a number of different facets, you know, even professionally. I was thinking about this today when I was on the way home a minute ago. I was, you know, with somebody that I worked with, you know, he was my boss, of course, and we were with somebody who was a boss at a different location. And because me and this one guy in particular got along so well, you know, he said, yo, you know, me and this guy were going out to dinner at, you know, a place called Teller's, you know, which is around my way, you know, a nice prestigious place. And, you know, while I'm there, I remember I, I got up and I went to the bathroom and I'm like rinsing my face off, you know, thinking about where I am. I'm like, bro, you're at a table right now with over a million dollars worth of salary. Meanwhile, I'm like the 70 or $80,000 guy there. And the other two people, because there was only three of us, the only, you know, those two people make up over a million dollars in salary annually. It's like, you know, unfortunate. And then, you know, to boot that same, you know, my guy, you know, that I was with uh, that, that night in particular, you know, on a different time, he said to me, bro, you don't understand. You got the world by the balls. And I'm like, like at this point, I think he was making a million dollars a year. It's just like, like, bro, it's like, like, are you serious? I got the world by the balls. You the one that make a million dollars a year. You're younger than me. You make, you know, if, you, if you're not making a million, you're making two inches from it. And, and yet your perception of me is that I got the world by the balls. And, you know, I've thought about that statement you know, more often than not, you know, believe it or not, and, you know, and I think about them during the times when I guess I'm most doubtful of myself, you know, and that'd be what I go to to remind myself, you know, of, of how people perceive me, and that maybe I ought to take a page out of their book. So, you know, I guess I'm saying this to say, you know, saying all of that to say this, bro, you know, it's never too late, and, you know, how you... If you're insecure like me, how you perceive yourself is not all all the time how it really is, you know, because people perceive you, you know, in their own 
in their own way, you know, and it, sometimes it's better than the way you perceive yourself, which, you know, in my case, has been, you know, comforting, and it's been, you know, uh, reassuring, you know, and stuff like that. Even today, you know, I got a call from someone who was just like, yo, uh, you know, like with sponsorship for something that you're doing. At first, I'm thinking, you know, these people are trying to get money from me. I don't got it. But really, he was just trying to pick my brain to see, you know, like, like you know, what do I think and, and stuff like that. Meanwhile, they are more involved than I've ever been, you know, in that in that particular, uh, you know, at, at that particular, uh, you know, job or, or, or you know, facet. And it's just weird, man. It's very complimentary. Shout out to XO because that, that's who called me. It's, it's you know, it's very, uh, you know, complimentary. You know what I mean? And I appreciate it. And sometimes when I'm at my worst or, or like, feeling, like, doubtful, you know, I think of stuff like that. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, and even, you know, as, as, as lucky as I've been, I still do have the people who are not, you know, so willing to, to give me those compliments. And I'm, I'm aware of that, you know, with them. I'm, you know, lucky for that, I'm not an idiot. So, you know, and I do, like, kind of know how to read people and I can read even the things that you think, you know, that I don't get or, or I see what you, I, like, when you're hiding the cards, I see what you're hiding. And, and you know, so, you know, with that being said, I don't know, it feels like I'm rambling, so I'm going to cut it short, especially because I don't lost where I was going with it. But, you know, I think you guys get the gist of it. You know, I just... You know, for those of you that are with me, you know, and and, uh, and and back me up in whatever way you do, I appreciate it. You know, for those of you that that, that, that hate on me, kind of, which is not a lot of people, for, but, you know, even for you guys, I appreciate it, though. You know, because, you know, everybody needs somebody. You know, they all say the same thing. You need somebody to hate on you, you know, sometimes. You know, it gives you a little kick in the ass, maybe, or, or it just keeps your universe running. I don't know what it does, but I do appreciate that. I appreciate the hate. I, you know, I appreciate the love, you know, even though sometimes I don't see what you guys see, you know, and, um, and you know, and, uh, I'm glad that, you know, for most of you that I've been able to help out in whatever way, whether it's, uh, you know, whatever way, whether it's professionally or you know, emotionally, something that you're dealing with, and I was just an ear for you to, to, you know, to talk to, you know, I appreciate that, because believe it or not, you know, whatever you were going through, if I haven't gone through it, it kind of feels like I have now, you know what I mean, because I went through it with you, you know what I mean, so I thank you for that, and I thank, you know, the people who do support me, and, uh, you know, and, and try to try to give me guidance in whatever facet, you know, and, and, and whichever way, you know, sometimes financially, sometimes it's, you know, just it, with words, you know, you know, I appreciate it, you know, and, and you know, I'm not one of those dudes, I think I kind of, you know, I like to acknowledge it and, and say it when it happens, you know, I try to, you know, because whatever, bro, you know, I, I, you know, I feel I'm kind of lucky in that aspect. I've been very lucky with the people that I surround myself with, even the haters, you know, and even the people that are, quote, you know, not good for me. It, 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 you know, sometimes it's bad, but most times it's good, and I appreciate it. I love you guys.